The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning from TFNN. Welcome to the August 27th wonderful Wednesday edition of today's opening bell on The Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, the daily newsletter service that is the intelligence for creating financial freedom. I hope everyone out there had a terrific Tuesday. Let's make sure that you and I, that we do all that we can to have a wonderful Wednesday. And thanks so much for joining us, folks. I'll do all that I can during the next couple hours. My outcome here, well, it's to share with you extraordinary tools that help us identify where price is headed to. And we've got a lot of great tools in our TFNN uh, tool bag, so we'll use them all. Whether it's the A to B equals CD pattern, whether it's our TAS market profiles, whether it's Japanese candlesticks, whether it's A to B equals CD tools, whether it's a Chapman wave, you name it, we will use it out here. And, you know, uh, last night I uh, was listening to a uh, show, um, a little talk show out there. Uh, on the uh, radio, like radio, and they were talking about apps, the power of apps. It was really the, the discussion was about uh, children's education and how apps are influencing the kids. And the question was, you know, will teachers be replaced? Things of that sort out there. Now, what I thought was really cool, there was a caller called in and said, you know, apps are great. They tell you how to do things out there. How? But what apps can't do is they can't answer that question as to why. And when I and I and it, and it just it really just kind of hit me. Maybe it was just obvious out there. Uh, the caller was obviously very intuitive uh, to to pick up on that. And really, that's the whole purpose of uh, of what we do here for ten hours each day at TFNN. You see, we're the why guys. We're going to show you how things work. But probably many of you are sitting back and you're asking that question of why. And so that's why we've got this interactive show. That means you can reach out and you give us a call at 877-927-6648. That's our toll-free number internationally. You can call us at 727-445-1044. Myself, uh, Basil, David White, Tom O'Brien, uh, uh, John Logan, um, uh, Daryl Martin, Andy Heck, we'll all do the best that we can to answer that question as to why. And that's really the benefit of this show. So, folks, it is Wonderful Wednesday. This is TFN, and I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to the show, the last week of summer out here. Let's go check out the markets, because many times you might say, hey, why do markets, you know, in the uh, when the, everything looks so dreary out there, why do all of a sudden markets uh, bounce? Or why, when things look so rosy, right now we're in that rosy time period, why do all of a sudden things just uh, switch? You know, much like, uh, you know, minnows that you might see uh, swimming in a uh, in the ocean on a, a clear day or what have you. Hey, look, right now, Dow futures are up by 12 points. They're trading out at 17.110. S&P futures up about a half a point, trading at 19.99. Uh, NASDAQ is up uh, three quarters of a point, trading at 40.73. Russell's up 80 cents right now. King dollar up 154 ticks, up 15 pennies, trading out at 82.52. Gold is up a buck. Silver's up two pennies. Lights we crude up nine cents, relatively flat market out here. Let's take a quick peek over in uh, Europe right now. A flat market. The DAX is up 0.14 pennies out there. That's flat. FTSE's up a buck. That's flat out here. Maybe we're going to have just simply a flat day over in Asia last night. The Shanghai was up two points. The Nikkei up 13. That is flat out there. And the Hang Seng was up 155 points, down about six tenths of a percent. So in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, the spirit, of maybe trying to answer why. You know, I can remember the very first time that I took a look at a stock chart. And if you're watching us on Tiger TV, thanks so much for doing that. If you're just listening on the radio or your mobile device at TFNN.com, don't forget you can get the live stream of the show by going to the homepage of TFNN.com. In the upper right-hand side, you'll see a button, three smartphone devices. Click on that. The show will stream live. Of course, the archive of this is on Channel 9 out there. And I remember the first time I took a look at a, a chart. It looked uh, very much uh, like this. Actually, it didn't even look like this. It wasn't a candlestick chart. It was just simply a uh, bar chart out there. And uh, and it, I was kind of, I don't know about you, I looked at it and I was like, well, what the heck does this actually mean out there? Now, that's the beauty of the things that we have here at TFNN. Is there meaning behind this? Absolutely. You can take a look at it. But, you know, this is all really about a, a language, and that's really what it is that we want to do is to teach you how to be able to read that language. So if we take that chart, one of the things that I uh, developed out here, the Rhodes Momentum Trading Systems and Signals out here, and you see these little, if you're, you may not be able to read them clearly but, clearly, but you will see little boxes on my screen. They'll either be red or green out here. 
And what these do is just like you and I, if we were to go have our heartbeat uh, measured, you know, you'll have an EKG, an ECG, some kind of G out there. Well, you've got the little sine wave, just kind of a normal wave, you know, with regard to the way that the heart beats out there. Well, the market should basically have a, a normal wave as well. And that normal wave, you know, really shifts between the red and these green signals out here. And it, maybe it's going to... Uh, maybe it's going to be moving slightly higher or slightly lower. That's just kind of normal. And we're looking here, when I say normal, I'm looking back in the time period from uh, the date of March the 7th. So from March 7th, really through the time period of um, May 13th, you had a market that did what? It was moving sideways. It was consolidating. And you can see how you've got this little red signal up at the top, then a green one at the bottom, a red at the top, green at the bottom. Just normal, natural buying and selling that was going on out there. Now, the whole purpose of this is when I identified that uh, certain things were not working in the market, such as volume, a volume from the way, one of the ways that I was looking at it, that's when I said, uh, hey, I need to take a look at the uh, pyramid out there. I've shared with you the pyramid from time to time and recognize that volume is only one aspect of the way that uh, we should interpret a, a chart out there. There's many, there's at least three others that we need to be able to use. And that's how I developed this Rhodes Momentum trading signal out here, which was to really help us understand the strength of the market. When you just get these little red boxes, what it's telling you is the sellers out there, the natural sellers out there, they want to take profits, want to short the market, whatever they do, that they have weak hands. They're not even able to push price down to get these little green signals out there. When you do get a green signal, it's like, ha, they finally got the day. But until you see it close below one of those green signals out there, that's just a natural move down. And once you see it close above that level, guess what? It is the buyers that are back in control. The sellers are not in control at that stage. Now, where are we at right now? If we just take this is the ES Mini, by the way, that we're taking a look at, this September contract, you can see a strong move up. You can see that the uh, sellers just simply nowhere near here. Now, it's just a now that's one way to look at it. What I also did was I just simply colorized it because we're all visual out there. So this is really the same chart out here utilizing the Rhodes Momentum trading signals. And the red obviously telling us that, uh, you know, you are now in the sellers really have control. Blue, you know, is uh, where you've now moved into a, a buy mode. And the light blue is where you've got nothing but clear blue skies ahead of you. And that's really where we're at in the market as we speak right now at 9.15 on uh, August the uh, 27th. So I just simply colorize that to make it a little bit easier. These are charts that show up in my daily newsletter service each and every day for each ETF, for each S&P sector, for the uh, indices. I even create a, a table that just makes it a snapshot so that you can go over and you can take a look at it now. Why do markets uh, all of a sudden snap and start moving back to the other side? Here's the daily chart for the ES Mini. When markets start to get ahead of themselves, meaning they move higher with less strength out there, it's something that we have to be aware of. Likewise, when they move lower with less weakness, it's something that we have to be aware of. It is a caution sign as if you were driving down the road out there. Well, take a look at the ES Mini. As it made this little doji candle, we'll talk about that in a moment. Back here on the trading session of July 24th, it was making a higher high. It was doing it with less relative strength. We saw the bearish reversal signal that uh, took place back here on July 25th. And then you saw a retracement. Retracement is just simply nothing more than a ruler that we used uh, in between significant uh, market turns out there. That's what we call swing points to help us identify where price will move to. Why? Well, if you take a look at enough charts... Fibonacci relationships have a, uh, they're natural inside the uh, market. It's a natural harmonic. It's in nature. Uh, our, everybody uses it. If you're an artist, you're using it. Well, we're an artist when we take a look at these stock charts, right? Because we're taking a look at data and we're trying to create some artwork uh, with, uh, with the uh, data out there. So we have to be aware of these. Can markets turn without this uh, occurring? Absolutely, they can. They can turn on a dime. But what you really want to be doing is you really want to be paying attention to these types of stretched uh, indicators. Now, this is a daily chart. These tools, uh, this is what I'm sharing with you, works on all time frames out there. What else can we take a look at? Well, candlesticks. I mentioned candlesticks during that process when we were just taking a look at that specific chart out here. And you see what I've got identified here, I've got uh, candlesticks that show us bullish that tells us where the uh, bulls are out there trying to defend their territory. Bearish, where the sellers are trying to defend their territory, much like a battle, because that's what we always have. We have a battle between buyers and sellers, bears and bulls out there. And then I've got uh, candlesticks that I show here. you here where there's uh, moments of indecision. 
those moments of indecision, you don't take action. You just simply become aware of those uh, moments. If you take a look at the uh, last time, remember we had that price relative strength divergent pattern. This was a uh, bearish engulfing and an evening star that took place out here. That was a reversal signal. Take a look at the lows that were put in back here on August 8th. This is why we want to, this is why I say it's so important for us to understand Japanese candlestick charting. A whole lot different than a line chart or a bar chart or something else that might be in the marketplace. If we take a look at this move up here, no bears in place at all when we take a look at those uh, candlesticks. As we speak right now, if in fact we see the ES Mini close today at 1999, you'll have a doji candle. Is that important? The doji candles are really important at resistance areas. We may be at or near a resistance area. When we get back, we're going to go take a look at the ES Mini. We'll take a look a little bit further. I know you want to know where price is headed to. Things are relatively flat as we speak right now, so it's a good time for me to just kind of pull this piece of it together for us. That way, when we take a look at the intraday charts, you'll have a better idea as to why I suggest the things that I do. We'll be right back, folks. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. 
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Terrell Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Steve takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, not much changed here in the uh, futures market. In the pre-market, though, there are our little blue box company, Blue Skies, out there for Tiffany. Uh, they're going to open up at a, a new 52-week uh, high out there. It's uh, trading right now at 104.01. It closed at $100.77. Now, I want to go back. We're taking a look at the ES Mini. I just chose that. I was looking at the uh, daily chart out there and just trying to take a look at a blank palette of a chart and all the different tools that we uh, use out there. And really, the whole purpose here, you know, I'm, here, I'm with you for the next couple of hours is what I may uh, do is uh, there may be a question of why that you've got. You may, why why does something work or, what, or whatever it is that you're looking for. Don't forget, you give, give me a call at 877-927-6648. I understand that anxiety, you know, in calling into a, a talk show. And any question that you've got, I guarantee you there are thousands of others that have that uh, same question out there. Now, one of the tools that I talk about that is just simply a terrific tool, an outstanding tool that everyone needs to use, learn how to use, is that A to B equals CD tool. So if we just take this blank chart again, and what you're looking at here, the A to B equals CD tool, that lightning bolt uh, pattern out there, helps us to identify where price is headed to. Well, if we look at the uh, low out here, I'm going to take this low on the trading session of uh, February 3rd, 2014. That's going to be our point for uh, where we begin that uh, tool. Uh, we've got a little high out here that took place on April the uh, 4th, and then a retracement down into a low on April the uh, 14th out here. Now, well, we can see, remember, during this time period, this is the same chart that we were looking at. We saw how the roads momentum signals out there that help us to understand, hey, who's in control? How powerful, really, is the move out there? It is normal selling, natural selling, or is it just simply that the, uh, in this case here with the market moving up, that, that no matter what selling is uh, going on out there, um, that the uh, buyers just simply zoom in, they take control. Now, if we take a look at the A to B equals CD tool, once you pass a B point, volume or not, once you pass a B point, if you pass it with volume, now your probabilities increase that you're going to complete the pattern out there. But you don't necessarily have to cross it with uh, volume out there. Why? You know, the, the reason why is uh, just simply when you start going to trade currencies, uh, and currency pairs out there, you'll realize you don't have volume. But the same patterns that take place when you're trading currencies, guess what? They take place in the equity market as well. So you want to make sure that you understand this tool. It's one of our measurement tools. Now, as we take a look at the ES Mini coming off that low back in February 17th, 32 and a quarter, making that run up to the 1892 level R B point of the A to B equals CD, and only a 55% retracement down back on April the 14th. Well, it achieved that one to one. Remember, these are not necessarily is it going to be hit to the tick out there. We're using these as guidelines, but the first price projection, the one to one, was 1963.50 out there. And price certainly got to that level. In fact, it got to that level in the trading session of uh, July the uh, 1st out there. Went ahead and pulled back. But the next floor up here, so if we're, are we near an area where we might start to begin to see some type of a pullback out here? Well, we're near the natural next floor uh, as price has advanced beyond that one-to-one -one level. There's other A to B equals CD patterns that we most certainly can draw in here. I'm just taking a look at the larger scale for you. So it's very likely... The ES Mini trade at 1999 that we'll see the 2007 level hit. Might be 2008, might be 2009, but our expectation should be that 2007 level. If we get a doji candle today, and we get a doji candle, for example, uh, tomorrow out there, we're coming into an area, a natural area of resistance out here. So there's another tool that we use. We put them all together. If we take a look at a, another wonderful tool out here, there's two others that we'll, you know, that we take a look at on a, a daily basis. If you just simply take a look at the uh, Chapman Wave, you know, just simply counting the uh, peaks and troughs on the uh, way up out here. If we just start with uh, back in April 14th, and we just simply start to do some labeling out here. Now, you know there can't be an H. 
I just simply, if you're watching us on Tiger TV, I just let my system go to that eighth level so that I know that there's no way that that was uh, that, that so-called Chapman Wave Rogue Wave out here. And I can just start my, my numbering again to understand where we're at. There you go. You get to that fourth letter. Now, where are we at in the uh, move right now? Well, if I just simply take a look at coming off of this low right here, uh, we know that there's typically a fourth wave out there, right? Well, if we take a look at that coming off that August 8th low, hey, where's the ES Mini? You know, it's in that uh, it's, it's at that third potential level. You get a higher close today, you're still in that third level. And then how about another wonderful tool that we can use to help us understand areas of support and resistance? Hey, none other than the ones provided to us by the folks at uh, TAS Professional, John Logan and his team out there. And that's where you see these red, light blue, and green horizontal lines on my chart. And once you get above resistance, old resistance should become new support. Hey, take a look at the trading session on August 13th. The market blew past that resistance level. Stayed above it the next day, came back and tested it on August the 15th out there. You can see the ES Mini still in a buy mode out here. When we get back, we'll see how these markets are going to open. But now we're going to go take a look at the 120-minute chart and see if that is giving us any kinds of signals out there. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technamental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now is the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. 
We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Races. We got the dial up 23 points. Straight out at 17,129. SP up to it, 2001. NASDAQ composite up five points at 4575. Russell 2000 up to it, 1177. NDX 100 up a couple points. Trade out at 4073. Gold up 40 cents. Silver up a penny. Light sweep crude up 14 cents. Tiffany lead the charge, the upside that the blue box company. Let's go take a look at it. Uh, they generated uh, revenues and net earnings 124 million versus 107. So they beat the uh, bottom line. Net sales looks like they increased by about seven percent out here new 52 week high maybe it's new all-time high let me put this on a monthly chart out here and see what we've got going on in that little blue box uh, company out there in fact that's how they ought to deliver really good viagra right deliver that is it a blue pill or something out there Ooh, i don't like what the heck that did uh um, i don't uh uh, I, th that would be, that would, you know, that would really, uh, anyways, uh, well, I digress out there. Uh, let me, let's keep, let's keep this, let's, let's keep this to a, to a, to a morning show out here. Uh, now we take a look at, uh, so we know Tiffany's at an all time high gapping up here today. You know, what does that say out here? It's not as a three gap play. No, I don't think so. I see two gaps. I don't see a third gap out here. No, it'll be really important to watch Tiffany over the next couple of days out here at all time highs, any type of, uh, now I don't know where it's going to trade to today. Let's assume that it stays up here. Any type of a gap down over the course of the next couple of days out here sets up an island reversal at the uh, top out there. That would not be good. I don't know that that's going to take place. It's just something for us to be paying attention to, and that is on uh, Tiffany. So you probably want to write that one down on your pad of paper out there. We've got the uh, mobile INV, uh, mobile, the MBLY is the ticker symbol, up 5%. This morning, you've got Tube Mogul, T-U-B-E, up 31%. What the heck is going on with that? T-U-B-E. Let's see. Uh, they report their financial results out here. It says strong. Uh, quite a uh, quite a move, a 31% uh, move. Let's take a quick peek at that. Uh, so this is an IPO, uh, daily chart. Yeah, an IPO from back on July 18th out there. So let's not pay too much attention to that. Not enough data. We've got the Express Inc. EXPR. That's up 13%, up a buck 95. Tesla up two bucks. Motor Car Parts MPAA. That's up. Arun Networks is up. Michael Kors is up 8% this morning. Level 3 Communications up 2.5. To the downside, C Drill Limited. Uh, that's down about uh, 3%. Uh, Smith & Wesson, SWHC is the ticker symbol. They're down 10%. Uh, They're out with uh, numbers as uh, well. Uh, their numbers go like this: net income fourteen million versus twenty six. Wow, that is a hit to the uh, bottom line. Net sales also taking a hit out there. So I guess fewer folks. I guess we're all gunned up uh, because they uh, they were, you know sales were one hundred thirty eight million versus one seventy one out there. Let's go take a look and see where Smith and Wesson. Oh, this does not look good. How about this? Some volume off of the uh, top with that gap down back on June 20th. That was uh, your first signature of some institutional selling with inside of uh, this equity. Uh, you are going to see a second sign here uh, today. Now, price is pulled back to a breakout area. Maybe we're going to see a large style consolidation. Uh, we do see that Smith & Wesson had broken out on March the 5th, 12 million shares to the upside. Price is pulled right back today. You don't like to see price gapping down into a breakout area. Nonetheless, it is 1.4 million shares at 9:38 in the morning. Uh, if uh, probably this low out here from February 26 down at the 13:11, uh, I'm sorry, 11:31 uh, area should get uh, tagged, should get hit out there. That is on Smith and Wesson. Now. 
I'm going to go back to the, uh, we can take a look at these charts, we can take a look at uh, currency pairs, we can take a look at basically anything that you want. Now what I'm going to do here is we're going to go back and we're going to take a look at the 120 minute chart for the ES Mini. So after just kind of sharing with you, you know, uh, maybe to give you a little bit better feel for the why we use these tools, or why I suggest that, that these are really all extraordinary tools out here, and is to be able to answer to try to help answer the reason why markets can turn and tools that you can use to help identify. And, and really, for those of you that are just uh, beginning your foray into technical analysis, maybe you just wandered through the Internet and you found TFNN.com. It is the most fundamental thing that you can learn to do, and this is a place for it. We call this the Hotel California. And uh, the, uh, the saying, the expression is, once you check in, you'll never check out. And our hotel, unlike many hotels, our check-in time is 8 a.m. when John Logan kicks us off. Now, if we take a look at the 120-minute time frame out here for the ES Mini, okay, we have a number of different tools that are, Becca got really all of the tools for the most part. Some are turned off at the moment. We can see that uh, price has moved higher on less relative strength out here. It did this at the trading session at 12 noon yesterday as the ES Mini hit its uh, session, its all-time highs, actually. And that was, uh, good Lord, what's the deal here? There we go. And that actually hit the uh, level of uh, 2,002.75. Now, Following up on that trading session was a bearish reversal signal with follow through to the downside. That was a bearish engulfing candle during the uh, 2 p.m. session out there. Okay, so now we've got that in place. What we don't have in place here, we don't have that fourth peak. We don't have that fourth Chapman Wave uh, count out there. Right now, coming off of this low out here at uh, 12 noon, that was on August 22nd, uh, you know, we've only made three of those uh, peaks. So right now, price, all that price is doing is coming back and testing what? Testing the market profile high, a resistance level, 1997. At this stage here, unless we see a close below the profile low at 1993, all price is doing is coming back into a support area. If you were trading based on 120-minute time frame, you'd look to take long positions somewhere between 1993 and 1997 out there on a daily basis, knowing that you are have some, even though we've got this potential reversal signal here, we haven't seen where sellers have had control. Take a look at the uh, candle that was formed out here at 6 a.m. There was still, let me just uh, update the chart, make sure it's all updated out here. Let me uh, reload this because uh, it could have changed since then. Let me see. Let me just make sure. Yeah, that was, uh, take a look at this. It was your second red roads momentum indicator out here telling you that uh, still the uh, buyers are in control of this marketplace out here. So here's how we put together a number of tools. If I were a wagering man at this stage, I have to say we're going to see higher price. Is it going to be today? Am I going to ignore the uh, price uh, uh, relative strength the divergent pattern out here? I'm not ignoring it, but knowing uh, knowing the uh, the power of combining all of these elements out here, I would have to say it's a pretty safe, pretty darn good safe uh, um, probability that we're going to see higher price before we see lower price now. What happens if you break down below 1993.80 out there? That may change the entire complex of what it is that we're looking at. At 1993.80, what do we have out here? We also have a nice bullish engulfing candle. That took place at 8 a.m. yesterday morning out there. So we know where the bulls are hanging out as we take a look at the ES Mini, as we take a look at the 120-minute charts. And that's how we utilize a number of these different tools to put it together. The cool thing is, is that this works on all time frames. All time frames out there, and so I encourage you, you know, to uh, continue to uh, expand your knowledge. Hopefully, you took advantage of the Tiger Dollar promotion that we had uh, that was uh, last week, and uh, you know, go ahead and test drive our newsletters out there. Uh, you know, take a look. I've got archive courses that are well worth their weight in uh, gold out there that you can get access to. Just get in touch with the good folks here at uh, TFN.com, and uh, they will assist you. We'll see how the ES Mini plays out, but at this stage here, it looks like uh, we'll see. More or likely a move higher than we will lower. Now, here's the thing. I can't control the markets. All that, nor can you. All we can do is control what it is that we do with the uh, markets and we take a look at the uh, signals out there. All righty. Now, 
Let's go take a look at some of these stocks here that are uh, popping and uh, dropping. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, let's go take a look at some things to the upside. So we're gonna we're gonna forego Tube Mogul. Uh, Tiffany, we took a look at uh, Tiffany. We didn't take a look at Tiffany as to as far as what its uh, price level might be. Let's go take a look at a, a weekly chart out here for Tiffany. What do I mean by that? If we take a look at one of our tools, if we look at our A to B equals CD tool out here, and we take a look at the most recent A to B equals CD pattern, that's going to be coming off of the lows back here. Uh, right around the uh, trading session, I'm going to use the area of April the uh, 14th as our low. I'm going to use as a high out here June 30th and a retracement back down into that market profile low on a weekly basis the week of August 11th. One to one A to B equals CD. The upside says Tiffany, if it wants to continue to explore higher price out there, the 114.64 area would likely become its next target. Now, the B point of an A to B equals CD. That was the week of June 30th. That had 3 million shares uh, that traded hands that day. We've already done 3.5 million shares. We are only into the beginning of trading of Monday. Uh, so long as Tiffany closes above 103.38, PDG, pretty darn good chance, PDGC, that uh, what we'll see is Tiffany uh, move up into that uh, level. Of course, we know on the uh, bearish side, the potential bearish side for Tiffany, any type of uh, market uh, gap down that Tiffany participates in, it could create an island reversal out there at all-time highs. It does not get any more bearish than that. That is not the pattern that is in play as we speak right now, just something to pay attention to. Also moving to the upside here, we looked at this yesterday. I believe mobile I N V is the uh, ticker symbol that was moving higher yesterday. I don't believe there was a lot of liquidity in this. This is a daily chart, also an IPO uh, back from August the uh, first. No idea where this thing might go. There's just not enough uh, data. You'd have to go down into an intraday chart and start doing your planning there. Not enough for me to be able to uh, tell you anything. But that could be a different story as we take a look at motor car parts, M P A A. I don't know if that's the Napa, the Napa. Oh, how about that? Uh, how about that earthquake in uh, Napa Valley? Bad deal out there. Bad scene. Um, hope that uh, hope that you know, a lot of wine, a lot of wine. If you are a, a cab drinker, of course, there's more than just cabs out there. Uh, looks like the uh, price looks like you might want to head to Costco and stock up on some of that Napa Valley wine for your sellers out there, because uh, I can only imagine that prices are not going down. Based on the uh, based on the earthquake that was out there, so uh, hmm, something to uh, think about. We do take a look at uh, M P A A, not to be confused with N as in Nancy P A A. This is gapping up this morning. Volume behind the move, pretty darn good. Uh, it's got six hundred seventy-five thousand shares already. It's taken out a swing point and a sign of strength that only had three hundred twenty-three thousand shares. So now you've got a confirmed A to B equals C D. The upside. Let's go see where that price projection takes us to. Our A point is August first low. Our B point is that nice bar on August the 13th, the retracement down into the August 21st level. One to one takes us to 3241. It's trading at 2983. Let's go see if there's any resistance here in MPAA. No, none that I see. It's also taking out a high back here on April 24th that only had 141,000 shares out there. So uh, that is looking uh, pretty good. Pretty good. MPAA is the uh, ticker symbol to the upside. Perigo Companies, PRGO. That is uh, trading up uh, two bucks right now at 150. Um, it has a high volume high. That is where Perigo is likely headed to. It had a, a nice little uh, breakout session. This was on the uh, trading session of uh, July 14th. You're trading inside that uh, bar. That had volume out here of uh, 8.1 million shares out there. You were up above our market profile resistance uh, zone. Uh, the moving averages has moved back into a uh, bullish mode out here. No reason for Perigo to not go test that 160 65 level, uh, a little bit more than $10 to the upside. I'm not saying it's going to do that today. Uh, if I take a look at just kind of a sort of a, a trend line out here inside of this uh, equity, um, you know, it would have to, uh, oh, that didn't work real well, did it, Steve? -O? Uh, let's try this. Uh, and, and the trend, not much of an angle to it out here. Let's see if I, if I click here, if that works. Um, in order for Perigo to really break to the upside, it's just simply going to have to take out that swing from uh, July the 14th. And uh, based on the volume patterns out here, pretty hard to believe that it will actually do that. So I would expect it to run into resistance right in that level of about 160.65. That is on uh, Perigo. Uh, Sanderson Farms, which was struggling yesterday, having a little bit of a bounce. It's up uh, about a buck eighty-three out here. 
Let's go take a look at uh, Sanderson Farms. Had big volume to the downside and was not able to take out that uh, swing point, that B point of a potential A to B equals CD to the downside. We had also noticed that what uh, Sanderson Farms was doing yesterday was it was moving back into a, a little sign of strength that it had. That sign of strength held. That was from May the 29th when this thing had moved up, uh, moved higher with 971,000 shares. <clears throat> big volume to the downside yesterday, 2.2 million shares out there. Um, you know, what do you do here? I, I, I say you don't necessarily come in at, in this equity on the uh, on the long side out here. Uh, this may just simply be trying to fill this uh, gap. In order to get long, you know, you'd like to see this. Right now it's actually just uh, testing its uh, resistance of its market profile right in that 9160 type range out there. So uh, and that is what's going on in Sanderson Farms. Nothing that I see here with that big volume day to the downside. It is nice that it held that level out there, but... Uh, a little bit iffy. There's probably better trades out there. Perigo is a, a better trade as a example. Aruba Networks, Arun is the ticker symbol, A R U N, up a buck fifty, up about seven percent. They're out with uh, numbers, I believe. Yeah, their numbers. Uh, they generated a loss of four million versus fifteen. Point six million from the prior year out there, so they are in spend mode, generating revenues. Nice revenue growth, two hundred two million versus one fifty three. Gapping up this morning, not at a fifty two week high out here. Let's pull this back and see where Arun Networks is uh, traveling into. Oh, there's your high volume high. That's where she's headed. That price point, twenty three dollars and fifty eight cents. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Steve Rhodes, TFNN. We'll be right back. take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, Unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day. Available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally. So there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability. Available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. 
Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, flat market out here. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, two different time frame charts uh, for that ES Mini. Let's go update uh, that uh, chart out there or what price is uh, doing. So what we've identified out here at this 1997 level, uh, let me see what the exact number is. Uh, I can't do that so easily. That is a shame, but it's right around 1997. We're trading 1997 and a quarter out here. We know that's where we've got our market profile high, our resistance area. That uh, level has been under attack. That's on that 120 minute time frame. Let's go see what else we've got out there. Let's take a look at a uh, shorter term chart out here. Let's go take a look at the uh, 30 minute chart. And on the 30 minute chart, what we're going to uh, see, let me go ahead and just simply update this here. Give me a moment. And on the 30-minute uh, chart, what we're going to uh, notice is we're going to see that the uh, market profile low of that 30 minutes, which is at 1996.50, uh, so far that's the level that is under attack. We'll see if that will hold as uh, support out there. I suspect that it will. So that's the bottom of that box on the 30-minute uh, channel, the top, in essence, of the box on the 120-minute uh, time frame, that channel uh, out there. And uh, let me pull this back this way. And uh, so far, the interest session low, 1996 and a, a quarter out here. You know, if you take a look at that 30-minute chart, take a look at yesterday's action. We saw that price relative strength divergent pattern form, confirm out here uh, at about uh, 12 noon. This, again, is a 30-minute chart at 12.30, you know, and we saw just a slight move lower out there. Now, the real key level to be watching, 1987.75 to 1990. Any move lower, I suspect or expect, the 1987.75 level will hold. I just don't know that we're really going to see price get down into those uh, levels out there. I think everything is in place for price to continue to move higher. It may not be today. Uh, maybe it is uh, tomorrow uh, out there. But uh, all that we've seen here at this stage at 9.56 a.m. on October 27, this price just come back to a natural area of support, looking at a 30-minute chart, looking at a 120-minute uh, time frame out there. If I take a, a quick peek at the uh, VIX, let's go do that here. Let's go see where that is uh, trading at. We're going to take a look at the VIX. We're using that in correlation to its 50-day exponential moving average. I know it's right here somewhere right in uh, front of me. Must be further off to the uh, left out here. Give me a moment. Where is it? VIX. Well, there, right there in front of me. We take a look at the uh, VIX on its uh, daily uh, chart out here. The 50-day uh, exponential moving average, that is priced out at 1285 uh, All bets to the upside will uh, come off if, in fact, uh, you see price close above that uh, level. I don't expect that is what we will see today, tomorrow, or Friday. Uh, but that is always a, a possibility and something we just simply want to be aware of. So right now, uh, the uh, VIX uh, has the market in uh, bullish to sideways moves out there. And let's go check in real quickly here on that uh, Great British Pound currency pair. Uh, we took a look at that uh, two days ago as it had formed a, a key reversal session. It did not have follow through yesterday, but it is having some follow through today. Here is our second bullish engulfing candle. These lows out here at the price level of uh, 1.6535 are being defended by the bulls. On this move down, 
from the trading session of July 15th. We did not see anything of the sort. So we know that uh, buyers out here think there's pretty good value in the uh, Great British Pound U.S. dollar right in that 165.3 uh, uh, level out there. I don't know who's going to win that battle, but I can tell you exactly where the uh, bulls are hanging out. So, folks, it is a wonderful Wednesday. Thanks for uh, joining us here this morning. Thanks for spending your day with us. Stay tuned. The Money Masters show is up uh, next. If you're off to start your Wednesday, have a, a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you bright and early tomorrow morning. Take care. White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. You're watching Tiger TV.